All right, I'm back with another video. Let's get right into it. Well, I, I so usually, you know, having a, a, a being locked up for 24 hours, we get these uh, like one hour passes, um, and get like two of them to go outside like twice a day. So it's like 22 hour lockup, right? Um, so they, uh, you know, they they basically took it away, and 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 that's what I, that was what the last the last video is called issue. Pretty much, that's how it is. You know, um, this time it wasn't even a staff member; it was it was another inmate. You know, and 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 or whatever they call them. They call them clients here. So I'm a client here. I don't know what that means, but their term for all the guys they keep in here were in here for a serious criminal offense is um, client, which is very weird. So so this guy basically, um, I think he was upset because one day he kind of fucked up. He did something really stupid. And you know, I was like, dude, this guy doesn't have what it takes to, to, to stick in a type of organization like that, you know what I mean? And, and I, I was just observing it and you know, um, I don't know if he got kicked out of that organization or if he has issues within that organization that he was in, um, but he wasn't happy about that. And that was well a while ago, um, maybe a month and a half ago. So it was weird. And, and, and so he, he used to play soccer with these guys and I started playing with them about a month and a half ago or two months ago, I started playing with them. And the first time, you know, uh, I came in, he was there and this, this is a really big, big, uh, uh, black dude. Right. And I mean, I just bumped him a couple of times and he just went, you know, and I kind of saw how weak his body was compared to mine, even though he looks very strong physically. Um, and, and outside of that, I mean, it was like, it was a piece of cake taking the ball off him to deke him, to get by him, to do anything, you know, um, and, um, you know what I mean? And after that, he never came back. He never played with us ever again until last, we were playing last Friday. He came to the game, said that he wanted to be on my team. On the way back, he talked to this guy privately, uh, the guy who runs that soccer game. And he told him that. I was using the word nigga and that he was very offended and all and that he basically told the guy like you know I'm 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 going to make sure this guy gets in trouble. And it's crazy because a black guy who doesn't have a black card um who's not even in his organization anymore because he was you know turns to snitching, you know he turns to snitching and um um on top of that like he sucks at the sport too and he can say like I want this guy in trouble and they they did it like that. You know what I mean? And when, when that happens, I think about it, I go, what's the amount of respect that anybody like me has, any Latin person or anybody like, what kind of, what kind of respect do we have in this world? Because this is an international city, you know, and I can, and, 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 and that's fine. But I just want, I, I do want like, I kind of had to sum that up and, and it was funny. And, and I've talked about more, that's not it, but I've talked about more. I have an entire video that I posted in the morning. It's called issue. But the reason, one of the reasons that I brought this video up and, 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 and one of the things that I wanted to say was, you know, it's like this city, Toronto, like, and I've told you Canada is pretty much, it's like, like, it's pretty much like a, you know how there are no fly zones. It's an all fly zone. You know what I mean? It's like a giant airport. They claim to be multicultural, multinational, international. And I told you how the one country that they absolutely have no toleration for that they absolutely have no toleration for is Afghanistan. Um, and that's going on for over 20 years, over 20 years ago, where they said that, you know, Afghan, like, first of all, they bring in these refugees and then they abuse them, right? Like, 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 like the human rights in Toronto and all these places, they have a big, um, I would call it inferiority complex, you know? So they bring these people in and then they treat them like shit and go, oh yeah, you thought you were big and bad, didn't you? Look at you here in Toronto. You know what I mean? That's what they do. And they basically shut these guys out. Um, they disrespect them. They try to fuck them up in every way. They hate their community. They hate the Afghan community. And it's gotten to the point that even the Muslim community has turned on the Afghans here. Even the Muslim community is saying, we don't want anything to do with Afghans here. You know what I mean? Even the Muslim community is like, these guys are pieces of shit. The Taliban is a piece of shit. Their country is a piece of shit. And we're going to treat them like pieces of shit in Toronto, right? And I'll be honest with you, as much as I complain that I get treated badly, I'll be honest with you, the Afghans get treated badly way worse than me. You know, as much as I complain and say, man, I get, and I get, and I have been getting treated horribly. Like even today, this black guy who, who had no, uh, insulted me and had nothing. 
And then based on something he heard me say, which was N-I-G-G-A, that he went and got all my shit frozen and got me fucking stuck here, you know, with one word. And I told him he was a snitch and, I, and I've told him that he's a weak ass dude. I told him he sucks at soccer. You know what I mean? And, 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 he, and he took it, but he wouldn't leave, you know? And, 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 and they were like after me to, for me to stop because they couldn't move him, but they were supposed to move me. You know what I mean? But I didn't move. But anyways, but the point is that Really, they treat the Afghans worse than me, man. I, I, I see the, how badly they disrespect and treat them. They have way more hate for Afghans than they have for me, man. They hate these people, man. You know what I mean? Even their own religious community has turned on them, saying that they're fucking retarded, that they practice a retarded version of the religion, that they take it too seriously, that they're violent people, you know, that, 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 that they're basically pieces of shit, you know? So they get treated worse. Now, Latinos and Latin people here, do they get treated bad? I don't know about before because Latinos and Latin people, as far as I know, over even, even the last decade, um, Latinos and Latin people live here in relative, relative anonymity, okay? So if I'm a Latino guy, nobody knows who I am. You know, I'm doing my thing here. Maybe I have a job, maybe I have a business. Maybe I'm just in town for the weekend or for a week or something, you know what I mean? And I'm here hanging out. Maybe I know a few friends or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just passing through, you know, but we used to live in relative anonymity, you know, and, and, and I did have a life like that at one point where nobody bothered me. Nobody fucked with me, nothing. People didn't even talk about me. Like I didn't even come up in people's conversations. People that had gone to school with me, I randomly see somebody from school so many years later and they go, man, I thought you were dead or something. I thought you had died because I didn't hear nothing about you. You know what I mean? Like I was not even the topic of like, like nobody even knew what I was doing. And I was earning money at times and I was earning good money, not illegal, legal money. And I was earning good money, enough good money for myself to have a pretty decent, fun, young kid's life, you know? And, um, and I was living in, in anonymity. You know, there might've been people buzzing about it, but it was all done secretly, you know? Like you're having a little bit of conversation and it's on the lowdown. Nobody really knew who I was or what I was doing. And that's how we work. And I'm telling you right now, the Latinos and the Latin 